Hey there, it's Ryan Skeggs, and this is the Mortgage Minute. I've got a special guest that I'll introduce right after this. Hey there, thanks so much for tuning into the Mortgage Minute. My name is Ryan Skaggs. I've got my special guest, Maeve. You say hi? You say hello? Yeah, she's still sleeping, so we're only about a, less than a week old right now. So, uh, But we wanted to talk a little bit about where interest rates are at, where the mortgage market's at, and what we see happening um, as we move forward. It is end of October right now, uh, and really today I want to talk about kind of the interest rates that have moved up. And then as well, a little bit about the mortgage world and environment and lenders as a whole right now. So let's start with an update. I'll take you onto my screen right now. So um, the average 30-year fixed is at 3.14, according to Freddie Mac. So uh, as you look at that, you can kind of see the trend line that I've showed you there with those black, uh, those black lines. We're definitely seeing a trend up over the last six to eight weeks. Um, I've talked about that in the past of seeing interest rates slowly move up as we go into the end of the year. Um, and I also made a note of 3.18, because if you look, this is a chart of the one year interest rates. So over the past year, we've seen the highest point at 3.18 and today we're at 3.14. So we are close to our one year high. Now, granted, we are absolutely still at one of the lowest levels in history. Uh, but with that said, you can really see the trend here of what that looks like. So um, check out that link below. When you go down below, you can see the link to Freddie Mac's um, average 30-year fix on their weekly survey. But also while you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'd be forever grateful. Now, while I have my special guest here, we will be doing a, uh, a new series or season two of A Man and a Baby Talk About Mortgages. So check out the YouTube channel and check out a couple of the other uh, kind of seasons that I have on there and subjects that'll be only for first-time home buyers. We'll be really breaking down the basics of the mortgage process and understanding how to select a lender. And that really comes into what we're going to talk about today, breaking down lenders not the loan officer, but the actual lender. And how I break it down for people is the three Bs. So you've got a mortgage broker, which is typically brokering the deal from the client or the borrower to the actual end investor. And sometimes they'll use other resources in the middle. They may broker the deal to you know a hedge fund in California and have it underwritten in out of Minnesota is what they would call a contract underwriting. So typically a lot of brokers would not have their own resources um, in-house necessarily or sitting next to them each day. Uh, it would be a, a smaller team typically as a whole, and they'd be brokering deal with that end investor. They've got a lot of programs available, uh, but they don't have as many of the resources. They run a pretty skinny kind of resource employee count because they are brokering it, right? The next one is the bank. Banks as a whole, pretty easy to understand. Banks are loaning out their own funds out to you know the general public for a mortgage, for commercial financing, for small business financing, whatever that may be. Uh, but they typically have one way of doing things. Uh, as a whole, they're typically a little bit slower. There's more red tape. There's more constrictive guidelines to a bank. Um, they want the most vanilla loan that they can do over and over and over again um, as many times as possible. And then you have what you call a mortgage banker. And that's where I've been pretty much all my life and where I'll always be um, because I am a firm believer in the mortgage banking kind of platform is that mortgage banking, we have our own money. We're funding the transaction with our money and using our resources from start to finish. So whenever a client comes to me, and, and this is a question you should be asking if you're a borrower and looking at uh, purchasing is, you know, how many people am I going to be dealing with during this transaction? And for myself and my team, that's a very big point of contention. It's myself and my team captain. That's it. There's two people that actually speak with a client from the day one of when a contract is received all the way to closing, only two. Instead of a lot of other companies who kind of hand you off from department, department, department. Yeah, they could all be good, but you just really hard to understand what's coming next. So as you make a relationship with a loan officer, you do need to understand, are they a broker? Are they a bank or are they a banker, right? So as a mortgage banker, it is myself, my dedicated team captain, my dedicated processing team, uh, underwriter and closer, but you only speak with two. So it's a mortgage broker, mortgage bank, and then a mortgage banker as we split into the three Bs of what you look for when you're looking at a lender. So again, this is Ryan Skaggs for the Mortgage Minute. Thank you so much for tuning in.
I don't think my special guest ever uh, woke up here to say hello, um, but definitely check out. We'll be uh, putting some new videos up on a man and a baby talk about mortgages next. So thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see each other again very, very soon.